All right, I had a, a gentleman who sells my artwork. Uh, he takes it around to different shows and stuff. And uh, we were discussing pieces to sell and what we can do to improve some of the other ones. And uh, he really likes this one. Uh, this one really uh, has some great action to it. And he thinks he's not gonna have a big problem selling it. We just need to get it in bronze. Um, that's the key is getting your, your work into bronze. Now, these over here, um, the, the uh, full bust of the Indian, busts are always a little hard to sell and uh, not sure what I'm going to do with that one. Uh, I, I'm going to save the head definitely and maybe do a life-size figure at some point, but uh, I'm going to wait till things pick up in the art market. Now these two, she's about the right size compared to a, a, a Caucasian uh, from back east who'd be a little taller. Uh, she's small and he's tall. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, we were thinking that it needs something to spark it a little bit and maybe adding her with him uh, in some uh, form, uh, maybe uh, having him starting to put the blanket over her head and the baby's head and uh, maybe calling it Mountain Family or something like that. I don't know. It, anyway, we were discussing that. Uh, great idea. I think it's something I'm going to definitely try. This guy here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. Uh, I might just take him and make a full figure out of it, uh, which means building an armature to accept uh, what I've already done, and uh, which means I'd have to tear everything from the neck down uh, up and keep uh, whatever I can. But uh, that's in the future. Uh, the horse thing, the uh, bookend idea is, is nice, but people don't buy books anymore. They the uh, by iPads so bookends aren't going to sell very well and so I'm going to just hold on to that clay and if I ever do a horse that size then I'll just use the uh, horse's head that I've already done this one here of the Crow Indian I'm thinking of adding a wolf or some kind of camp dog with it that's on alert with him either standing behind him and looking out past the uh, his uh, war club there um, and or in the front of him uh, well just you know I, I, in a kind of like a defensive stance uh, like he's heard what the warrior has heard or the warrior is attuned to what the the uh, the wolf or the whatever hound it is that is there in, in the, the camp has uh, sensed as well and so maybe the dog has sensed something and because of that he's uh, looking in the direction the dog is looking. So that's what we're think I'm thinking of doing, uh, reworking some of these things and uh, revisiting these ideas a little bit. And I think I'm, I'm, I like the wolf one, I, or the wolf, or whatever kind of dog I put with that guy there. Um, but, you know, sometimes what you produce, it is not going to be going on the market because it just doesn't sing. It doesn't play the tune. This one plays a tune. All those over there don't quite play the tune. This one, I can hear it humming, but it's not quite there yet. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, oh, by the way, I want to show you a poster from a show we did in, in uh, Wichita, Kansas, back in 1990. It was, uh, that's uh, Paul Verberg's painting of a cowboy up there. But I was a member of a group called the uh, American Indian Cowboy Artists, and we uh, showed in Wichita for a couple of years. Uh, it was great and wonderful. And uh, so anyway, just uh, thought I'd fill you in what's going on, and I will either be here tomorrow or not. I got to go to Bozeman. I got to get supplies for my DVDs. I went yesterday to get them and forgot to pick up uh, DVD cases. So, all right. Everybody, see you tomorrow or not.